To all outdoor lovers in Alabama, poison hemlock is no joke. The Alabama Extension System just released that new warning. And forestry experts say that that toxic plant is being seen more commonly across the state. Good morning, Alabama's Kyra Purvis joins us live this morning from Jefferson County. And Kyra, what risks does this plant pose? Well, Sarah, every part of this plant contains toxic chemicals that can cause severe reactions with the skin. If ingested, it can even lead to death. This plant is a non native invasive plant. This means it can threaten the presence of native plants that are important to our state's ecosystem. The plant features petaled white flowers and leaflets. This can commonly be mistaken for the harmless Queen Anne's lace, but it can be distinguished by its purple splotches located on its stem. Carrie Steedley with the Alabama Extension says farmers, outdoors people, and landscapers should be on the lookout for these plants. They can be seen in gardens, on trails, and more commonly on the side of the road. In areas like rights of ways, you know, power line easements, things like that, that get mowed. And, you know, if these plants are in there and they've went through that reproductive cycle and have produced those seeds, it's really easy to spread and then kind of create these patches, these big patches of the plant. If you notice a poison hemlock on your property, you can attempt to remove it yourself through consistent herbicide application. You can also attempt to manually remove the plant from its roots. This needs to be done with all areas of the skin covered along with your mouth and eyes. Poison hemlock seen on public property can be reported. You can find a link to that tool right now on our website, abc3340.com. Live in Jefferson County, Kyra Purvis, ABC 3340 News.